I approached the owner of Satire and I said, hey, I had this idea. I have no idea if it's going to work. It's R-rated. It's really risky. And to his amazing credits, he's like, sounds awesome. Let's do it. I think we probably spent about $3,000 on the project as a whole. Um, we shot it in one day in seven hours. First thing was first was writing a script. So my approach to it was we're making it for a brewery and it's called satire. And so I wanted to make a parody of something. So obviously we're parodying um, Saw and the Saw franchise and those horror movies. So first I had to make sure that I'm honoring the franchise. And then I started thinking about how it relates to the brewery um, and what is the sort of sin that this guy does if you've ever seen the Saw franchise. And so I thought about uh, alcoholism. So I like the idea of if you overdo the thing that you love, you will cause harm to others and so now I had a theme and a story and idea to work off of so first thing I did was I talked to my special effects guy um, he's someone I've worked with for a long time I met him in film school and he's just kind of kick-ass at what he does and so this is how I approached him was I have the script and I have the story but I don't know what the torture device is yet and how they relate to the particular sin and so I asked him hey what are some effects you've always been wanting to try and so one of the things that he told me is like, I really want to deglove a finger. Uh, I was like, I can work with that. And from there, it was sort of, all right, how do we de design the machine for this? And so we built a chair, a little torture chair that we have him strapped to, and we put the little light bulb in, and he designs all the technology behind that. We made sure to integrate a keg from the actual brewery into the torture device too, so we can show off a little bit of the brewery and brewing and have that connection. The puppet, which ended up being the most expensive part of the project, I think it was like $300 for just the puppet. Um, and then it wasn't even an actual puppet either. The mouth didn't move, so I had to figure out how to shoot that separately, especially since it didn't show up in time for the actual shoot. And so I had to film a TV with tracking dots on it, film the puppet later, animate the puppet's mouth moving, and then VFX the puppet onto the actual TV screen. And then find an actor. And so I had I have one really, really good actor friend who's just kind of unbelievable. And I knew I needed someone who was convincing. Um, and we only had one day to shoot. So it was, we had to shoot a five minute short film in seven hours. And so it's like, how much can you crank out fast? You need to make sure you have a good game plan, make sure you're getting the shots that you want. As soon as you have the take that you want, uh, move on. Intention and effort are what makes something actually play and work. And so I wanted to make sure that I just kind of honored those things. Since this was the first one, I wasn't thinking much about a marketing plan other than the fact that I knew it had a built-in audience and fan base. Um, I was able to get away with the project because it's parody and so I knew if I shared it in a bunch of different horror pages and a bunch of Saw fan film pages then I would at least get a good base level audience of people who would enjoy and appreciate it. And so we finished the project and we put it out there and we did a premiere for it. Biggest compliment and insult I got from the entire project was there was a lot of people confused why we were just playing a scene from one of the Saw movies. Um, I didn't set it up properly, telling them, no, no, we actually made this. This is not something that we just pulled from a movie. Um, I was flattered and also kind of really annoyed. I posted online, shared it with all my friends, shared it in the filmmaker groups that I wanted to. It got good traction for a little bit and then it kind of died out. I uploaded it to YouTube and kind of forgot about it. The following year, when I was uploading the newest short that I had done for the same brewery, um, I checked our YouTube and for some mysterious reason, it had caught the algorithm. And I think we're at like 34,000 views right now. Um, and so there's something to be said for the fact that you don't know when something's gonna take off until it does. Um, and you do the very best that you can, but don't count something out until you know for sure it was a failure. I talked to the owner being like, hey, so this was a risk. We tried this thing, it didn't work. Next time I'll do something a little bit different. Um, I made a mistake. And now we're sitting here and there are people who are like, hell yeah, Satire Brewing for pulling off something so sick. And um, it found a life of its own and it's to me one of the more successful projects that I've done. The thing that kind of kept me going the whole way through was I've never really done anything horror. And so I really wanted to see if I could pull off horror genre in a way that was also built on another property. I really like emulating certain filmmakers to see if I can actually pull off what they're doing. It builds muscles that are usually weak in yourself as an artist. Um, another thing I wish I had done for this project that I didn't was do a better job of making it about the beer that we were trying to sell. We didn't really have a beer designed for the particular idea, so we kind of tried to fit a beer into the idea. Another fun thing about projects that I really love uh, is that while you're working on them, you get so many ideas for new projects 
projects that you want to do next. We bought uh, sugar glass bottles to throw at a car so that they would shatter. And we had an extra bottle. And it gave me the idea of like, I just really want to smash a bottle over someone's head. And then immediately that just makes you start thinking of a Western. And so we've had a Western idea in the works for probably about six months. Nothing finite yet, but just enough to where you have a seed planted of, I know what the next project's gonna be. Even if this company doesn't want to be the one to make it, then I can start finding companies who'd be interested in doing a Western type deal. If you want to check out the project, it's uploaded on Satire Brewing's YouTube page, or you can just search Saw Fan Film, it should come up that way too.